I've been creating with my hands as long as I can remember. I came from a very modest background. We didn't have very much money at all. My mom was very resourceful. And she always made the house look nice, even with very little money. I don't know, it was just like magic with her fingers. It made an imprint on me. And so a lot of my work has objects that have been reused in different ways. And I look at objects very differently as the, its principal purpose. And I think that was something that was influenced by, by my mom. My mother was definitely a big influence in bringing art into my life, always very creative and working on crafts that always had a creative turn to them. When I used a camera, I realized it's, it's a tool that I could use and express myself in different ways. And it was in grad school when I started thinking about alternative ways of using uh, photography as a material. And that took me into kind of a rabbit hole of what does photography look like? What can it be? And how can we push the boundaries of what we think of as photography? A lot of my work it starts from that personal narrative and then it goes out, right, into the kind of collective memory. A lot of the material that I work with are everyday materials. I'm constantly working on a series that involves eggshells and I've taken that kind of inspired craft and I've covered objects that you would not normally um, have for some my. With eggs, there's this kind of metaphor for life and fragility, and then pair it with something that is hard and can destroy things, right? Or can build things. And so putting those things together creates a different type of narrative, if you will, a type of tension. The performance, Longing for Harmonies, is a very intense piece. It's very visual has a lot of um, also like sound and projection and it's almost like if you could get into my head, that's what you're seeing. One of the things that I'm really trying to achieve with my work is a different approach uh, to the idea of what an immigrant looks like. So with this installation, it was very much about blending both something from my past in Mexico, the hybrid identity that, you know, being bicultural has influenced in my work, in my practice, with something from my present and, you know, the life that I've built here in Utah. And so that's where using images from my family archive and this photo album of, you know, childhood photos, that merged with a very tangible material that was the salt from the Great Salt Lake, that to me had that same idea. I hope that the viewers will walk away a little confused, hopefully just make people think in a different way.